having a setup here uh, with the um, C50, um, um, Adreno, um, to the ATM1 ME switch from Blackmagic. So when we got uh, the Adreno uh, interface, it was configured uh, like a normal interface. Uh, but uh, on our multi-viewer, we have uh, made some mapping. Uh, so we have changed the SDI and the HDMI signals uh, so they, they're not fit in the normal uh, order, um, but they're fit in an order to our specific production. So we have been inside uh, the program in the Adreno and we have changed uh, the order of the buttons uh, so they all um, still um, trick uh, the different uh, sources uh, we, we want to, to use uh, through our mapping. Um, so we have made uh, some changes. Um, we have also changed uh, the hotkey buttons over here. The DSK1 button is normally only doing um, um, a cut to downstream key 1. Uh, now we have set it up to make a, a transition. So it follows the transition time inside the software uh, and make a dissolve instead. The next button have we changed it to be um, a take on and off button. So when we push uh, this button on, we can cut directly on a uh, program and not uh, through preview uh, through our cameras. And when we push it again, it starts lighting and we make the preview and can make a cut or make an auto trans. Um, so a feature to make it more uh, flexible to, to make the production uh, as the producer wants to do it. Uh, the auto button is just uh, as normal. But uh, in this uh, specific setup, we have changed uh, this button over here. We have a setup uh, in this hall with uh, three projectors. So the projectors in the sides um, um, are showing uh, our program signal uh, when they play music inside here. Uh, but when someone is speaking on the stage, uh, we want to make uh, one signal uh, to the projectors. Um, uh, a close shot, but to our web stream we want to make um, something more interesting. So we have um, made this button so when we push it on, it changed the ARCS2 to the projector. So it selects uh, camera 1, uh, so we can uh, cut in the program signal. The last feature and the most awesome we have on this setup is a macro function. So when we enter the media setup at the ATEM switcher, we have um, here our um, a graphic for um, a lower third, and we have over here um, the text, the still. Um, so it's a two PNG, this a still PNG, and this a PNG sequence. So when we go into the switcher, uh, you can see what happens when we push our macro. So it is doing a lot of things that will take a lot of time to learn and do very precisely. So it's very easy to use and to make the final product easier to do. So when we push our macro button, it looks like this on the program feed. So we started uh, with the C50 uh, model with a standard configuration um, and then we have uh, made um, the program, changed it uh, as we need, we need uh, to have it uh, on this production uh, and it's uh, very fast to do. It takes uh, about an hour to make all these specific functions we have made uh, precisely as we want them to be uh, on this production. So it's just uh, showing a lot of how flexible it is to work with uh, this interface on Adreno.